I had performed with Martin about a year and a half ago to two years in this very church um, and he was thinking about creating this piece of work and came to me and said would I be interested in, in being involved in being soprano soloist so obviously I was thrilled and yeah absolutely jumped at the chance. I'm actually a mezzo-soprano, so my voice is slightly lower and probably a bit more uh, dark and rich than possibly a soprano. So um, I think having that warmth to the sound gives a real empathy to the character of Mary Magdalene. Um, and I can express the pain and the, uh, all the emotions that she goes through in this piece through my voice. Well, it's extremely important because it brings it to a new audience, a fresh take with, um, you know, a modern outlook on this story that is timeless. I only did a St. John's Passion by Bach a week ago, and it struck me as how relevant it, it is and how important it is that Martin is able to put this into a uh, talk that we understand as a modern audience. Um, and it's amazing the similarities between what Bach was trying to achieve and what we can achieve with this piece. It's so lovely for me because there are a couple of teachers um, from my past when I was a tiny, uh, you know, five-year-old girl, um, Miss Bedford and Mrs. Laver, and they're in, singing in the chorus. And to think that the people who influenced me the most as a child in my musical education are here and, and sharing this experience, it, it's wonderful. It's a, it, again, makes it feel like I'm coming back full circle, which is quite fun because the whole idea of Omega and Alpha is cyclical. So everything sort of ties in, it's really good. Often the way with oratorio, you come in, you know, on the day and put it all together. But um, they have phenomenal voices and uh, very unique sounds. I think all three of us bring something very different to the piece. But in the same way, we can also blend our voices really well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really fun to work with those two for the first time. They're wonderful people and, uh, yeah, excellent musicians. He's a, uh, a very generous man. He, through every stage of the creation of this piece, has welcomed um, input and, um, and suggestions from us. Uh, he's a very talented composer, as you'll, you'll hear, um, and he's brought to life this piece of music that, you know, for a lot of people may feel a little bit difficult to digest. Um, and uh, so, yes, generous, warm and very fun guy. He likes to have a laugh as well. So it's been an enjoyable experience. It'll be exciting because they won't know what to expect. It's not like you can go and find it on YouTube. This piece doesn't exist to everyone else um, yet. So to have their visceral reaction the first time that they've really appreciated this piece is something very unique. Don't find that very often. So um, hopefully they'll enjoy it. Uh, we'll see. <laughs>